Hello, this is Ison Quinn, and we're back with another Savage Lands Let's Play, episode number three this time. And we are wandering in the cold. Yep, wandering in the cold. Since the last episode, I built a, a house, managed to get a storage box, uh, fairly well established, and, well, you have to explore, and so... Now I'm looking for a new location to build a second base. Uh, what I've decided is to have just building up one giant base here, there, which looks like uh, that's part of what the intent is of the game. Since I'm, I'm playing this one solo, I'm going to build bases in a few different places. <clears throat> just prior to this scene, I was killed. And so I've, I've got my loot and my burnt out torch, and I am on a mission to go someplace, anywhere but where I was. <clears throat> Where I was was where larger groups of critters uh, attack you and kill you fairly promptly. So I'm, I'm taking a peek. I ideally, I think I'm, I want to go to the to the shore and see what's down there. Uh, although I've already built a spawn point which will respawn me at my first base, but I know how to get to the shore from there and, and probably to this base. If not, then I'll respawn at one base and I'll pick the best base to respawn at. Either way, I'm playing this on an Alienware Alpha machine, and this is an Alpha software early release. Uh, so far, the game has been interesting. Uh, because I'm still in the early stages, I would say not a lot uh, that I've discovered in plot other than kill, build, and, and wander. But I don't think I've gone out in the world enough, so I, I need to go out there and uh, see, what, see what there is. I've, I found a dragon's nest. Don't want to go back there, so... Now I want to uh, see what I can find. Maybe another city. Uh, I avoided building uh, in burnout cities. I avoided building houses there, but maybe that is a place uh, to go. I, I'm not particularly sure. It's getting cold out though, <clears throat> and I'm just taking a, a look around. I think overall uh, the game, uh, other than the pop in graphics, which I mentioned before, still happens. It's annoying when it's a large landmark, like a mountain that you're looking for, and it doesn't pop in. But uh, other than that, I think it has strong graphics, and I'm using the, the Steam uh, controller. I'm, I'm getting better at it. I think they've done some uh, nice fine-tuning on it, so it's getting easier to uh, control. Uh, <clears throat> so I and, and this game is not actually made for the, the Steam controller. That's something to keep in mind. That you can just remap the keyboard, and that's what I've done. It works fairly well. I'm off sometimes when I'm going to aim it at a target, but I think that will improve as time goes on. So to drop into our story here, we're cold, we're lost, we want a home. We don't know why we're here on this island, and we want to find a place to live before it starts snowing. And yeah, we're, we're getting a little bit of lag in spots. Uh, you know, the, the game's downloaded. It, I'm not playing it online. I think that lag might be the auto saves. I, I'm not sure. It is an alpha, so you know, it's definitely you know, I've got a i7, so uh, uh, processor in you know the uh, Alienware machine uh, shouldn't be having any problems at least at this stage uh, with it. And and if if I am, this is still an ongoing review of the the Steam machines. If you're looking at basically spending 800 and so dollars for a machine that, that lags, I'd rather play it on the PC. But I think that might be the software. I'm going to start a couple other new uh, games in order to have comparisons. And, well, we found a village, and we, there are creatures I definitely do not want to get engaged with right now. Oh, I hate these guys. Uh, they're mean, snarly little things. Uh... I'm sure they've got good loot, but wow, they're everywhere. Okay, let's see if we can get out of here. If I don't faint first, <laughs> I will come back and kill them. It's just I'd like to get some better armor and build up a couple things and have a, a second base. So uh, the giant rock over there looks like a good landmark. If I can keep away from these guys, you know, roll down the hill. So let's. See if we can head maybe to it. <laughs> and, you know, if you've been watching the series so far, nothing overall exciting. It is a survival game. Uh, I'm surviving just barely. It's a rough survival game. I had a, a compass. I lost it. Uh, don't know where I threw it. <laughs> and it's a big world. I've only explored a small portion of it yet because I'm still trying to 
find out what it is I want to do. I've learned to make bandages now, weapons, and a variety of equipment. Oh, those guys are over there too. They are everywhere. So, uh, I I think it's definitely uh, worth worth playing. It, it's not as far along as some other alphas. Uh, I think I, I might start a uh, uh, arc uh, series also as well. Arc survival. Uh, that that should be. Uh, Interesting, and I, you know, I'd really like to. I haven't played the game, uh, this war, but I'd like to, to try that. We might do a series on the Steam machine. Oh, uh, you know what? I'll do I'll do Ark Survival on the Xbox because I'm trying to add some Xbox stuff in on the Steam machine. I'll do uh, uh, Savage Lands, uh, and I guess this war of mine, maybe, maybe something else. Those little tree folk are everywhere. So, uh, well, you know, so far I've, I've been keeping you entertained with endless running. Uh, I really do need to, to settle down. I'm sort of OCD about where I settle. I want flat ground. I want a clearing so I can see it because if it's surrounded by trees, and yeah, I can cut down the trees, but I would just like to make it a little bit uh, easier. Maybe not too close to those critters. Uh, and maybe a place of significance. I, I don't know if we're, we're going to find that or not. Uh, but I'm, I'm going to look. That's what it's about. So uh, lots of places to go here, and it's always cold. Always cold. Uh, you have to be careful for the cold. I was originally wondering if it, if it ever warms up, but unless the chill meter up there on the top left-hand corner of the screen goes into hot, uh, the climate's always going to be cold. I think that would be a great addition to the game is that you find a part of the island or another environment or the seasons actually change and then you have to deal with the uh, overwhelming heat uh, where, you know, instead of with fire, I guess you'd need water because we've got a pretty big ocean out there that is apparently just blocking the land. Instead of being an invisible wall, it's a, an ocean. Uh, you can go into it uh, in cold weather. I don't like to. So... Uh, I think I'm, I think I'm heading right back down to the, the shore. That's why I'd like to go. Oh. <laughs> Can almost hit him now. They haven't improved the, uh, the wolves because I used to be able to kill them in two swings. Everything died in two swings. Uh, if I can hit it. Seven swings away. Uh, he hurt pretty bad. So... You know, one thing you want to do is always keep an eye on bleeding. See the little charts down there? I've learned this. You can actually bleed to death while you're carrying your loot. Did that before. So make sure you have bandages. And there are basically cotton plants you can get bandages from. You can craft those. A lot of things to craft in the game. I'm only now starting to uh, get some of them. So I've got about 15 uh, small sacks and backpack. One backpack. I would like more backpacks. But uh, inventory management is a big part of the game. I think that's probably going to improve. So let's get a bandage here. I'm obviously going to have to get some fire, too. Another bandage. And some food. The different foods will heal you and give you a little bit of heat, body temperature. Uh, most importantly, it will give you uh, more endurance. So, and I, I've... A lot of, lot of wolves. Uh, I joke, I say there's coldness everywhere in this game, but there's, there's also wolves everywhere. So, now that we broke our giant matchstick or torch, let's head down to a beach and see if we can build us a lean-to. I really like a, a house. A shack is what I think they call them. But they have everything for large cities, and you know, they even have uh, aesthetic places. Wow, there's a building here. That's by my, the giant landmark that I was pointing out earlier. Uh, or one looks like it. Let's see who died in here. So a skeleton on the far side, but... Oh, it's not a skeleton. It's actually just something destroyed. Oh, actually, not bad. Better than my wooden place. It's pre-built. Well, I, I could overcome my uh, concern on pre-built places. Fire going. Always keep stone and wood. because And a lot of stone if you have to start your own fire. Be able to use that. Well, I'm not playing in the you know online or multiplayer, which I'm not sure if there's PvP in it or not. This game, 
you know, if you don't look on the web for any information or watch other videos, uh, for me, this is all new. So I'm not sure, like I'm hammering on this, and obviously it does no good. I would like that wood, not gonna happen. So, uh, <clears throat> I the extra houses, other than aesthetics, serve no purpose, but they're built, so I'll, I'll take them. Uh, it's, an, it's clear, nice clearing area, so it suits my needs, and obviously the fire's in the right place. The buildings do decay in this game. These two don't appear to be decaying, so I can't... Well, don't mind me. Just popped out there. We didn't see anything. <laughs> so, let's see. Over here is... Oh, we got some neighbors pretty close in wooden shacks. Anything I can borrow from these guys? Do they have fences? So, can obviously build something better than a shack. I don't think I've unlocked everything yet. But uh, I, I wonder if any of the houses will ever have furnaces in them or, you know, fireplaces. So you don't have to go outside. You can put a torch. That'll give you a little bit of warmth, but not as much as... The fire. I noticed a lot of them have the, the fire pit in the front, so the whole city gathers around it, but they could build a fireplace. Wagon. I think this is just aesthetics. Uh, fence posts. I, besides aesthetics, could help keep some critters out. These are all run down. I don't see any blacksmith area. I would like one of those because I need that to build a box. Wheels. So I think this is... You know, if you don't try, you, you won't you won't learn. I won't learn, but I will keep trying. You know, if it's just going to sit there and decay, uh, now I guess I could repair it. That might be a possibility. Not a perfect location because I can see the, the campfire from a long way, so when I'm lost in the middle of the night, I can go out there and... Uh, uh, find it amidst all the lurking uh, wolves and the feral coldness that is always on the prowl. So let's go back here, warm up, and you know, uh, let's just see if they have a, a, a stone structure I can add here. That, that would be nice. Got extra meat, I'll crack that. It doesn't hurt to keep extra meat. I think it can go bad after time. Never, never a concern with me because I'm always eating. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Uh, you know, it's been a while in between these episodes. I had a heck of a couple of last months. I have a number of uh, medical conditions that pretty much always keep me someplace where I don't want to be. So hopefully I can spend more time on this and get a few of these videos out. Ah, uh, well. I, I picked up one of these uh, swords, as you see right here. Uh, I wonder if I could use two hands this out, because I can carry a torch at the same time. But that, that will be better than what I'm using presently. And then maybe I can build one if I need a material for it, like some obsidian. This wolf's bane. I was thinking maybe uh, something you wear around your neck just to keep the things away. Cold's bane. That's what I'd like. Cold's bane. So, I wonder what we have as far as structures. Campfire into Pike of Resurrection. Let me build another one of those. <laughs> Wooden stone house blacksmith. Blacksmith town hall. Again, I don't have. Uh, Lot of long durations on some of these uh, buildings. Uh, wooden crucifix. Yeah. Uh, tools. A lot of aesthetics. Pike of victory. Yeah, I guess I can put that up. I can barely kill anything anyhow. So the. Uh, I don't need to build another house, but the. Uh, blacksmith shop. I might uh, try to go with that. You know, and speaking of uh, 
blacksmith shops. I, I don't mention this enough. I you know I have to get the hang of it. But if if you're watching the video or like the video series or like to complain about me in the video series, subscribe so you know when the new videos come out. Or if you select that, that way you can be here for the new videos, and then you can tell me I don't know what I'm doing, or you can say I, I like that. I'd like to see more of this or play another game like Subnautica. I want to play, but only so much at one time. Uh, or you can tell me to quit hitting the right button. So, yes, uh, please subscribe and and importantly, uh, uh, like it. If if you like it, or if you don't like it and you want to press like, that that's fine by me too. I, uh, who am I to judge? But uh, you know, with every like, I will likely find a place to put this uh, structure, and it might help me in the future. Uh, and if, if you subscribe, only honestly, only subscribe if you want to subscribe because there's some benefit for you, which is, includes complaining. I mean, if you, if you like to, to complain, that, that's fine. I, I have no problem with that. Let's just avoid trash talk. So, well, I'm going to put this structure here because I do need a blacksmith shop. And I think this is sort of step one into... Uh, well, furthering the game's progress because I can build some better weapons, some better armor. Probably something I should have done right off the beginning. Of course, I, I you know, I when I first started, I didn't even know how to get stone. So now I know how to get stone and gems. Wow, a lot of stone. I, you know, I get, this is probably something that we'll build off screen. I know it'll be exciting watching a stone counter go down. Uh, might, uh, well, I'll always go down here and collect some stone. Because I don't think I've actually successfully done mine. Maybe I did in the last video. Uh, so, and different rocks. There's that pop in that. I don't, the texture pop in is one thing. The giant rock pop in is, you know, uh, something completely different. Okay. Still, uh, you know, I, I'm getting better with the mouse controller on the, uh, the Steam controller. I probably I would be much faster with the mouse and keyboard, but I want to get used to this because I'm, I'm reviewing it and playing it as... Ow! Okay. Wrong button. That hammer doesn't work. I, I'm playing it as though it's a controller because obviously that's what Steam intended to do was put out something that is very similar not to controller but very similar to a console. Uh, yet I think uh, attempting to surpass the console by having availability software which they're still a little bit light on but I'm beginning it's growing on me. My initial thoughts were I'm probably going to sell this but now I definitely want to keep it and see what see what comes out with it. Anyway, I, I can go back here and build a, a new hammer, and then you can watch me hammer out stone. Or I can go back here and well, I'm plenty warm. I can eat. Uh, what I'll probably do is just wrap it up at this point, and then maybe when you come back, we'll have a finished uh, uh, blacksmith shop. Uh, so uh, thanks for watching. This is Ice and Quinn, uh, EEO Studio.